Hey guys, Mr. Myas is here with you. And um, today I'd like to talk about some important concepts about correlation. So some specific things about, especially about R and uh, our correlation R and how to use the correlation cards. So how do we kind of take a look at some of these um, scatter plots and then see what that value of R is gonna represent in terms of the correlation. So here we go. So last time we talked about that correlation is a measure of linear strength. So in my last video, I talked that correlation and association are two different things, right? So we're looking at the correlation at, at the correlation measurement as a measure of its linear strength. So just to recap, values closer to one or negative one mean that the association is strongly linear. So let's just talk a little bit about in general, how would you know in terms of the strength based on your correlation coefficient R. Well, if R was zero, then we would have no correlation at all. It would either be like a curve um, or it just be extremely out of the, uh, just everything out everywhere. But actually what we're gonna see, that's probably gonna be more of a, just like a very weak correlation. But basically if R is zero, there's no correlation. There's no linear strength. Okay, we'll take a look at an example in just a second. Between zero and 0.4, we would consider that weak. Now, these are very subjective. So in some courses, uh, a 0.4 might actually be a moderate to a strong relationship. So I would make sure that you guys talk to your professors or uh, especially if it's a content, uh, a certain content, so psychology or education or something, because that might differ depending, but for gener generally speaking for statistics, zero to 0 0.4, we're gonna consider weak. 0.4 to 0 0.7, notice here I have a less than or equal sign. So, you know, if it's 0.4, we're gonna go and say that's moderate. 0 0.7 is gonna be moderate. Sometimes 0 0.7 is strong. So again, these are very general guidelines in determining what you would consider to be weak, moderate, or strong. Now, generally speaking, again, anything 0 0.7 to one is gonna be strong. Just a reminder that R could be positive or negative based on the slope. So if the slope is, uh, is positive or the general direction of your scatter plot is positive, then we're gonna have a positive R. If your direction is negative, we're gonna have a negative R, okay? And if R was one, that would be a perfect line. So if the dots were exactly perfect, that would be a perfect line, which would make an R of one, which that basically, guys, doesn't really happen very often in real life. Let's take a look at some examples, okay? So um, these are from the, my last one. I just wanna remind you, correlation is not association. Let's take a look at what we might see as, or we would might guess the correlation would be of each of these. So now this first one, we have a uh, pretty strong association, but this strong association is curved, which means the linear strength would be no linear. There's nothing linear about this. So this would be an R of zero. So notice guys here that we have an R of zero, which would be no correlation, yet this is a strong association. So there's a big difference there, right? And take a look at the second one. Now, these are pretty pretty well lined up in a line. They're, again, there's a lot of scatter here, but in general, these are pretty strong, right? This is a strong relationship, it's positive. I would say this is about an R of about 0.8. Now, we said 0.7 to, to 0.2 not to one, it would be strong. Now, notice down here, these are very much closer together than these. They form closer than a line, but in order for it to be R equals one, it would have to be in an exact, like all dots in an exact line. They are not, right? They're scattered. So we've got some, some um, wiggle room here. I would say 0.8 is probably good. This one looks like, well, at first glance, we'd say R equals zero, but we'd see that there's pretty much a clump right around here, and then they spread out. So I would say this is still positive, but it's pretty weak. So I'm gonna go to the bottom end here and say it's about 0.1. Remember, the closer we get to zero, the, the, uh, the weaker the, associate, the correlation is. So 0.1 here would be what my guess would be. Here we have a curve, albeit this is not as strong association as this curve. So there might be a, a correlation here, but it's gonna be very, very strong, very, very weak, sorry. So I'm gonna say it's approximately zero probably gonna be pretty small, if, if anything. So I'm gonna go and give this an R of about zero. And what do we think this one is? 
Uh, I think it's stronger than the previous one. So I'm going to say 0.9, but I have to, don't forget, this is negative. So I, I mentioned just a minute ago, if the direction is negative, I have to have a negative R. Now, what about this one? Well, this is a horizontal line. This is going to be approximately zero as well. Um, there needs to be some sort of slope in order for me to have an R. This is a slope of zero. So my R value is going to be about zero as well. I need to have a positive or a negative direction. Without direction, I have no R or life, right? <laughs> no direct. Anyway, um, moving on. Let's take a look at some of these important things about correlation that you have to make sure that you know. Correlation can only be between two quantitative variables. It can't have a correlation between categorical variables, even people, even though people might say you can. You cannot. So when we use the correlation in statistics, make sure you use the word correctly. Second, just because the correlation between two variables is weak does not mean the association between those two variables is also weak. That's clearly in the first example. We had a strong association. It was curved. That made the correlation very weak or no correlation at all. Just because the correlation is high, don't assume the association is going to be linear because there might be some curve in the data that we might not see, and we're going to need what we call a residual plot to make sure and check to see if there's curved data. Um, there are very much cases where we can have curved data that have very, very high R values. So we want to make sure that we uh, take a look at that with a little bit more, um, I guess, uh, uh, we want to be a little more cautious when we, when we look at that. Now, Beware of outliers. Outliers can change your correlation drastically depending on where they are. They could be a high, they, they might not change it at all. Like they might just be way, they might be exactly on the line, just really far away. But they might have high residual values and something that has a very high residual value will definitely change your correlation. So we want to be careful with outliers and how they do that, all right? So there are just some things about correlation, and hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to estimate correlation for um, an association in a scatter plot. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> My S is math. Out.